So, I found this uh, YouTube channel that's kinda like Swedish nationalist. They are... I think they're pagans, kinda. Maybe Norse pagans. It, it seems to be just a... Uh, like, uh, oh, we believe in Northern Pride and shit. Which is fucking. I, I hate folkish pagans. Because they are just fucking stupid and they. <laughs> and they're stupid, you. But uh, they, they're just fucking romant romanticized nationalists. I, I thought I'm gonna look at this video or their video or something. Nationalism is love, nationalism is diversity. To see how... How they're doing. He have a lot of videos where he's fucking half naked. That, that's, that's weird. Why, did, why do these people s <laughs> seem to uh, like only have their body? That, that's pretty bad. Poor people, I mean. And just as much. As I love my country, it doesn't mean I hate other countries. Oh, this first? Uh, oh, I love my country, but I don't hate other countries. No, no you, you may not do that, but... The nationalistic, the like right-wing nationalistic uh, ideology is about furthering the nation. It's not about furthering your people. It's about furthering your nation, oh, like for all. It's not about furthering, like, people in general. What the fuck? The golden one has videos with him, apparently. Where they are half naked, he's guys. <laughs> Which is just, no. no. That, 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 you say that, but you really do. Especially when you, like, advocate wars in, uh, <laughs> imperialist wars. And, uh, all... Historically, all nationalist movements have become, like, imperialist. German nationalists, fucking Italian nationalists, the fascists. <laughs> and the... yeah. So, so n no. Uh, uh, that's at least what you say. Oh god, he got a... He got a, like, Thor's hammer. Like, if it's a cross. Why, why do you Christianize yourself, fucking cuck? We the Northern Brothers like all countries to do well. That can only be a seed with the internationalism. It's just that we prefer our own country. Makes sense, I guess. At least when you live there. <laughs> or That's a weird, th s s s like, put it. Why do you put it like that? It's nothing, it's nothing strange, really. It's just uh, normal. I guess it's normal to like, oh, I live here. That's great. But that's not nationalism. <laughs> that's just whoa. I I I am I'm 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 good. Nationalism is more about proud, to have to have to have a sense of pride in your nation, and uh, a sense of belonging in your. Okay, it's more of a belonging in your, can in your nation, and you want, which also kind of makes you tend to be more conservative, and why nationalism tends to be more reactionary, in where you tend to. Uh, don't want any change because you're a fucking gay nationalist and not a progressive one. The left always speaks about diversity and how they want everything to be diverse. The left. You just say the left always talk about it because when you say the left, I think you mostly mean liberals. And we, we want a level of diversity. I mean, especially when we're getting globalized, which cannot be stopped under capitalism. The, yeah, yeah, people are gonna move. Have socialism to fix that. But it's just uh, it's just something to get their communist agenda uh, altogether. <laughs> communist agenda, Jesus Christ! <laughs> most most quote unquote leftists are not communist, you fucking moron. <laughs> fucking hell! <laughs> fucking communists, communists. I mean, if, if they really wanted diversity, why do they want to mix all cultures? We don't <laughs> want to mix all cultures. <laughs> How would that work? I mean, <laughs> cultures are just national, uh, naturally developing by adopting each other and developing like that. Cultures are not... 
culture mixing is not really a thing. Because cultures are so distinct that if you would place, literally place cultures in each other, they would just fight each other. Like they do in Africa and the Middle East. That's a multi that's like quote unquote real multiculturalism. While we have uh, we have one dominant culture, and then you adopt s s some things from other cultures when the people feel like, oh yeah, this is great, we take this, and blah 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 blah. So, f <laughs> no, w w we don't just f mix all cultures. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Into, into some countries. Into some countries. No, we don't. Uh, all white countries, all west countries. All white countries. <laughs> Uh, you must mean that cap that uh, the capitalism have made third world countries shit to live in. Okay, they they and uh, the Western countries live on their literally live on their shit on their labor. We oppress them. Fucking third worldism intensifies, and then you get offended by them coming here because they see oh they got good shit here even though we don't get much good shit we just live on you and you get like oh my fucking people coming here Th that's not even culturally culture mixing that's just people moving and they want to mix them up like there is there's no diversity in that true diversity is when you have many different countries and many different cultures with with different people and that's what we want well first that's stupid N nobody said no <laughs> No, like, mainstream person is saying that we need to get rid of culture and countries. <laughs> the fuck you talking about? <laughs> we'll say, A, we should probably accept immigrants and maybe learn from them a bit. Is that so fucking... No? Okay. It's, uh, that's diversity. Not, not, this, uh, not, not this ideology called uh, multiculturalism, that's not uh, diversity. Multiculturalism is not an ideology. <laughs> It's like a thing that people say, even though I think it's not. It's not really a thing, but that's just me. But oh well. Sweden has never had a big immigration. We had a big immigration, like the Finnish. The, the Finns, like under World War Two, uh, if I remember correctly, were very much a huge immigration. And we, and we still to this day have very many many Finns here. But I think you mean Muslim immigrants, or like uh, Middle Eastern immigrants. Brownies. That sounded racist, sorry. And it has never, the, the people has never grown so much as it uh, had the last couple of decades. So it is, it's a very dramatic uh, kind of uh, change for Sweden that has never, that we've never seen before. Uh, well, we have. I guess you mean like, oh, we we can't integrate them really, which is true. We get problems with that. What what did that have to do with like nationalism? Uh, and this has led to many big, uh, both economical and uh, political and uh, uh, social changes in a very short time. You mean like we accepting neoliberalism? Political? What political change have happened? That one party have become like the second biggest party. Whoa, what a political change. <laughs> Social change, I don't know. We have some uh, weird Muslims that are nationalistic and like conservative, reactionary. Th th that's the only social change. And yeah, and the like general rise in both radical movements, I guess. I don't know. Uh, we like to see that, of course, we want the society to go forward, but we want it to be a little bit more slow. Like yeah, you're conservative fucking cuck. When did it go slower? Oh, fuck you. Like in the more in the pace of uh, the common people, so to speak. That's what it is right now. Y you literally can't get it like faster than the people because it's the fucking people that are the culture and develop the culture. What the fuck are you talking about? Many people they 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 are misjudging um, nationalism and they think that nationalism. And imperialism is the same thing. Nationalism have often and most commonly le led to imperialism, and imperialism have led to nationalism. 
most people are associating nationalism with traditional like uh, right, 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 traditional right wing. I don't know what the fuck was I talking about. But yeah, nationalism have and is imperialism, and imperialism is nationalism. Nationalism and imperialism have a strong correlation with each other. Imperialism, it's when when uh, you want like Sweden to take over other countries and to expand. That's not what we want. No, you may not want that. But that's really literally how the econ economy work. And your like Swedish pride and the national identity in capitalism, you, you make that happen. We want, as we said, as I said earlier, we want diversity, so we want many different cultures. And we want Sweden as well to have their culture and their people. Yeah, nobody says anything different. Nobody says anything different. Uh, a culture for each country, not every culture in one country. Nobody wants that. That will just lead to the uh, disaster. Uh, because uh, if there's so many cultures and so many different people, it won't, it won't be a, a good way. We can see it now. It's, uh, it's everywhere in the West. I agree, but it's not everywhere in the West. There's like some places. Canada. And you know, a better example is like the fucking whole Middle East and Africa. Th there you can have like uh, two two separate cultures. Like they don't work together, so they smash and civil wars and blah blah blah. <laughs> this uh, this multiculturalism project is is failing. We don't have a multiculturalism project. <laughs> we have a like oh m maybe we should take in these people who are fleeing from wars project. We have so much to be proud of in Sweden. Yeah, so do every. I don't know. Well, yeah, we have we have much to be proud of. I, I'm probably gonna agree with this though. The beautiful landscape. Same, I agree. <laughs> Our language. Yeah, the all languages are very beautiful. I agree with that. Our way to talk to other people. I mean, we are polite, even though we don't know each other. We are always polite. <laughs> we are polite. I don't know about that. Swedes tend to be passive aggressive as fuck. I love Sweden. We're great. But, but we, we, we're not that polite though. Get over yourself. Uh, the hard working Swedes. We are, we are, we are very hard working uh, people. Some are. The working class are. Sadly, we are living in capitalism, so the hard working Swedes aren't getting their profits. And a couple of decades ago, uh, the Swedes took out our took our country from pretty much nothing. They, it was uh, very poor and we didn't have food on the table, but we worked so hard that we, we, got, we got to where we are today. Yeah, labor theory of value, look it up. We have the, we have the best protection against animal cruelties, on the, both in the farm and uh, in the homes. That's great, we should, I, should, I think we should have more though, because there's still a lot of problems with like farming. But hey, that's, that's great. Sweden have many positive aspects that should be celebrated. Yeah, you should be proud of Sweden. You have reasons to be proud of Sweden and what it done. And you should seek to further that cause. You see, nationalism, it's all about love. Mm, you gave me that love, babe. But yeah, nationalism is about love for your own and fuck everyone else. It's not about hate. It can be about hate, like, yeah. And we love Mjordos Wea, and we do everything for it. <laughs> you know, I fucking love Mjordos Wea too. She's great. That's the problem, you should, do, you should not do everything for your, like, country. You should do everything for, to protect your, yourself, your class. Because class conf conflict is much better than uh, fucking national conflict. Fucking stupid. Like really, no. To, to do that, that's the thing though. That leads to imperialism. Like oh, these fucking Austrians are. Uh, they're, they're trying to they took our land. You know, we should probably invade them. Uh, even if uh, yeah, and blah blah blah. Like uh, if if hypothetically. If I was like nationalistic, like super nationalistic, not like left wing, as I know, I would uh, invade Finland because F Finnish was Swedish. And then I see it justified. 
and then you have imperialism. <laughs> so yeah, I, I I get you, but nationalism is very dangerous. In at, at least I'm gonna say this: traditional nationalism is very dangerous in how it can be executed. I don't think, but but as I said, like left-wing nationalism is better if it's like progressive nationalism and not Nazpol. <laughs> because Nazpol is just Nazpol. <laughs>